Hello, uh, good morning and today is Friday and this is the last I think Friday of the month of January anyway let's uh, get down to the business um, it's so sad because I've been hearing a lot of uh, uh, news and it's okay if it is a good news but it seems like it's a little bit bad news for the uh, uh, Philippine representative for uh, Miss Universe uh, 2016 and a representative his name is uh, uh, Maxine Medina and it's so sad because majority of uh, pageant uh, fanatics are kind of like uh, rooting for a certain uh, candidate that they really wants to support but the sad part is most of these Filipinos are bashing her and which is not really good because if you come to think of it, she's not only representing herself, she's also representing our country, which is the Philippines. And for those who are keep on bashing her, I think you better think about it first. Who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for Philippines or are you rooting for other country? So if you know whose country you're rooting for, then just stick with that. You know, stick to that particular country and stop bashing the Philippines because at the end of the day, we're still all Filipino and we should all be uh, supporting our uh, representative which is the Philippines and you know reading all these uh, pages uh, beauty pageant pages at uh, Facebook is so sad because majority of those Filipinos majority I'm not saying all of them they kind of like uh, all have negative uh, uh, comments about uh, Maxine it's okay to criticize or uh, you know critique constructively meaning uh, if you critique her a certain uh, maybe the way she walks then offer something like a solution on how she can improve her pasarela or something to do about her uh, you know movement or maybe her uh, you know attitude or look on the camera or maybe in the makeup but you know attack her and uh, bash her because the way she look or uh, something to do about her smile or something to do about her communication skills that is way below the belt you know we we filipinos are better than that so i think uh, the bottom line here is uh, we should support her you know how many more days today is friday here in los angeles or in the u.s friday friday saturday and sunday so two more days left so i think we all Filipinos should all come together and uh, you know boost her morale instead of uh, spreading negativity about uh, Maxine. Why don't we just spread the good news, a positive, uh, you know, about uh, Maxine, about rep our representative, which is uh, it's a good thing. And that way, other people from other countries who are supporting their own uh, bet will see that oh, not only uh, we have a big uh, you know support with the beauty pageant but at the same time we we'll all come together to support our candidate regardless win winner or loser okay i think uh, you know we're kind of, we already uh, been through that you know started from janine all the way down to pia filipinos are good basher they're the number one bashers and critics in the beauty pageant world and it's so sad and for me I don't bash but I critique and I tell them what is uh, you know uh, bad or good in terms of their look but other than that I don't go beyond that you know below the belt saying oh she's bad she needs to you know such and such no you just tell them oh I think she's you know she gained a little bit of weight but she's really good she's had this aura to become a beauty queen things like that well let's go back to Maxine I know Maxine's communication skills is a little bit, uh, you know, maybe that's her weakness. But other than that, I think uh, the way she looks, the way she moves, the way she walks, and the way she uh, carries herself in front and off the camera, I think is uh, like a beauty queen. I think uh, the thing that the aces and queen needs to focus on and how she will uh, turn herself into be more of uh, owning it, you know let's say she make it to the top three help her to uh, to boost her morale to uh, be more confident regardless how uh, tough or easy the question is i think that's more important to, for maxine in the first place it, it will it, it's in the philippines so whether she answered the question on the final let's say she make it to uh, top three 
still the Filipino will support her. And that's a big morale for her. So just relax, enjoy the competition, win or lose, Filipino will still support her. Okay? And for me, uh, let me tell you the top, uh, you know, top six in the final question. I think, you know, I think it will be dominated again by the Latinas. Because on the preliminaries, I've noticed that a lot of Latinas are very uh, fierce. And in terms of uh, how they show themselves in the camera, you know, how they project, they're very strong and fierce. In Asia, I think uh, it will be a big surprise, you know. It's either Indonesia or Thailand will make it, but, you know, Philippines should be there. And USA, she's very strong in terms of her, uh, you know, uh, communication skills at the same time she has this confidence Venezuela should be there Colombia I'm, I have a little bit of mixed uh, you know feelings about whether she's gonna be make it in the top six or not the other thing that I've noticed is uh, Miss Curacao and Miss uh, uh, Panama so for me these are the uh, candidates that's gonna be uh, you know watched out Venezuela, okay, uh, Panama, and Curacao. And then in, uh, in Europe part, I think uh, I was uh, thinking of either Ukraine or France, okay? So in Asia, it's a clear, uh, you know, standouts are uh, uh, Philippines, uh, Indonesia, and then Thailand. And then in the U, of course, USA should be there. Venezuela, Colombia, uh, Curacao, France, or Ukraine. And then the rest, uh, you know, are just kind of like uh, should be there because maybe the Dutchess uh, uh, saw something uh, unique. But other than that, those are kind of like, uh, I have a feeling, you know, might be another Latina would be the next Miss Universe. But, you know, if Maxine succeeded in the top three, then I'm going to root for her. Okay? So, again, my last word is uh, we all Filipino. So, let's all support uh, Maxine Medina for uh, Miss Universe's uh, uh, quest. You know, just spread all the positive uh, feedback. Enough of those negativity. We had a lot of that, you know, previously. So, I think as a, one of the pageant fanatic, we should all support her, you know regardless okay again uh, we're looking forward to see Maxine in the best of her uh, you know uh, performance I know she did a great job on the preliminary but uh, I'm looking forward to see her in the top uh, six okay again thank you so much and let's all spread the good news of positivity okay and good luck and congratulations in advance to all the uh, uh, call this the committee, all uh, people who make uh, Miss Universe uh, 2016 happen in the Philippines. And thank you and good luck.